This will broach our sixth hour playing this run. It is the least cursed run I've done, I think. And I've been soloing it, and I'm pretty stoked about that. Yes, I do. Still have a book. I believe, and we'll check that real fast, actually. Ooh, hunger is high. Let's fix that with food. All right, uh, let me see Caligura. I just want to see if I can catch him in the afternoon, already turned or not. Because uh, he is the last step in our grand plan. Okay, so I just have to let him moon scorch and then body him there, which is fine. All right, uh, so that means we can do some fun stuff like oh hey, there is a new moon uh, emote, uh, animated emote. It's the same one, just more colorful. Just thought I'd throw that up there. I forgot to put the new sound alerts in, but I figured, why would I put new sound alerts in when I could forget to do it? Yep. Yeah. Those are the two new emotes that we've got ready to rock and roll. Thank you, Potato, for demonstrating Liquid Slam and Glow. I believe that's what it's called. Let's, uh... Yep, yeah, it's Glow. Because it's like my hair is a glow stick. All right, the reason I'm backtracking like this right now because you know they say don't beat a dead horse. And I have no intention of doing that. But what I do have an intention in doing is getting stuck on every bit of geometry possible. Nope. There it is. I'm sorry, what? What did I say? I thought I said beating a dead horse, but hey, my bad. We may cheese the skill tree soon. All right, so we're going back because we have first turn blood golem which is fine and dandy, but we also have necromancy, so. What should I name the ghoul? Let's hear it. Patrick. All right. You got it. Odd choice, for sure. But hey, I'm here too, if nothing else. 
serve the masses. All right. Now the unfortunate thing is we kind of just have to go to sleep and then do the fun run that happens next. I think. But we might as well throw some fun skill points into some other stuff. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and craft a couple items, shall we? Which also means that, ooh, I could sleep. No, I don't know. There's a process that I'm completely forgetting right now. But, let's see. I'm trying to think of what the best place to sleep would be. I guess I'll go back to the train so I can get into the sewer easier. That makes more sense. Because I do have the sewer key. And as long as I remember where to go, I, I forgot that I had somebody following me, I'm not gonna lie. Well, hello there! Welcome, welcome. Welcome to what I like to call the Prehivil Fun Run. For charity. For heads. Uh. Yeah, I'm just... I've done all my prep work, I believe, to make this just... Unnecessary. Can I equip the ghoul with anything? I mean, I guess I could. Why would I, though? You could equip it with a hardened heart, making it not one shotable. We'll play with that idea in a moment. But I believe all but Pav. Everybody but Pav and Caligula, Caligura are dead. So we can just. I mean, grand scheme of things, if this ain't the move, we're still golden because we did not do much. Oh boy, am I thirsty. That's a whole lot of people I killed in my own hands. That's pretty aggressive. Let's have a look at the Hexen. I already have that. Oh. Patrick. Let's see something. We have no, uh, nothing there. Although combustion would be a nice little trick to have in our sleeve. Because why not? I don't even know what Poison Tip does, but we need to, um... Hmm. 
we have five skill points. It's just a matter of what we're going to put it into. I mean, why not, you know? We got the skills, we might as well just have fun with it. Your Honor, my friend was in goblin mode. What is, what is... See, when I picture goblin mode, I picture just a little mischievous fella going... <laughs> you know? Like a goblin would. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave. I forgot that I had 16 fucking heads in my pocket. All right, yeah, let's go on our grand adventure. And God forbid anybody gets in my fucking way today, tonight. All right, so it's day two night. We go to the shore. We go around civilization to murder. Since there is literally nothing that I fear in this game now, really? Which is just an aggressive thing to say. That, oh yeah, nothing here scares me anymore. If memory serves, we just run straight. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Come on, poop monster man. I think he's gonna pop. There it is. Okay. That actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> Choking my balls. Whack. <laughs> you know what? This is going to be done in two turns. He... He did some things. three turns. I think that's just the death now. Yeah. I was correct, though. Two turns. fix this so I need um fuck my brain just went dumb yeah motherfucker I needed to use more than one 
All right, that's one more down, baby. One more down. So a part of me is curious. I'm gonna have to fight the Sergal guy, right? My double black orb and it hits both of his arms does he just lose both arms ggs he doesn't get to attack because that'd be sick let's go ahead and pop in catch that free save since we still have our girl here friend save I suppose we could you know what we're going the long way around because i'm dumb that's my fault but we are stacked baby how do you poison a ghoul though an honest question i have now like it it's already dead what does being poisoned do to it also, it's nauseous, so that's a little concerning. All right. We're finally going to do it. This is like the tightest run I've done, I think, in this game so far. Like, who would have thought just making yourself a destructive force of nature in the very beginning and killing everybody was a little bit easier than making friends. I mean, I didn't have that in my bingo card. But. Yeah, let's go down. Do have these rust colored pearls. Alright, no, apparently go fuck myself. You know, I hold on, let me see something. I do have quite a bit of heroin. I could make the Nurgle fight real interesting for myself. Oh no. I've had that happen to me before, and all I had to do is like close out of the uh, sound alerts thing, and then it'll just re update. Nope. All right, a lot of this is just running in circles, unfortunately, and I apologize. A lot of places we've already murdered everything in our path. But I really just do not want to fight the death mask, even though... Realistically, probably would be easier than usual now. Alrighty. <clears throat> Who's ready to go on an adventure? Free save right there. And I can't remember if I use this one for Grogoroth or not. Is my sigil for Grogoroth? That's the rare one. Alright, hold on. 
I know it's fear and hunger, and then it's all right. I get a little lost down here. I want to make sure my affinity's up a little bit because I don't know. Seems like the kind of thing you do in this situation. Guess not. Fuck it. I'm wasting time. I know I'm wasting time. I actually didn't know I was wasting time, but I felt like it at the very last second. Oh, boy. It kind of is, to be fair. Time is wasting me all the time. The fellatio effigy. Hunger effigy. Secret church tunnel. I want to say this is the correct path. Was it just fight this loser? <laughs> I don't know how to summon him again. I already put the picture in there. Let's just go ahead and do some heroin, right? In this case, there's not much else going on for us except for to do the heroin. Feel real good for this next fight. Oh boy, our favorite person. Hey, nothing about me's average, baby. Alright, skills. I'm just thinking that this will be pretty funny. You're one of those idiots. You took off my arm. Wah. Can't get wrecked, loser. I don't need anything up here, but I just want it now. Gertie boy. <laughs> I'm Gertie boy. <laughs> That's great. Can't even spell Gertie nor bruh. It's okay. It's okay. I, I was kind of picking up what you were putting down to begin with. Alright, something about the tower in front of you feels grody. 
Let's go ahead and make sure. Choke on my balls. Uh, let's make sure our sanity is doing all right. And actually, let's use one of our light blue vials on our boy here. We want him to make it all the way up. We're killing him right now. Or rather, finishing what the king in yellow does. You feel an immense, intense aura emanating from the figure in yellow. You are petrified in fear and awe as this person lays its eyes on you. Don't say it like that. Finish him off. Like, oh yeah, you're gonna finish him off. The presence feels old. Oh, almost ancient. You get a feeling that this person is not just a normal human. Or, or the oldest form of this place is English. Kaiser! I don't know why. You know what? Pav sounds like Solid Snake now. Do you even know why this bullet has your name written on it? You're one of my officials. Pavel Yudin. You were recruited from Veronia during the First Great War. That must mean I'm responsible for demolishing the village you were born in, and your family and relatives. I sincerely hope this is not an act of vengeance. That would mean you've wasted all your life in spite, waiting for this opportunity. It's not wasted if I get my revenge here. Hell. I'd do this even if it meant that no one else has to go through the same. Colonel, don't even try to give me any of that. It's for the greater good bullshit. You're stepping on people without regret, just to pursue your own endeavors. I do not do anything for the greater good. The greater scheme of things is a trap humanity has fallen for too many times. What I've done is a necessary step for mankind. I said I don't want that bullshit! Alright. I'm just saying, he... He slept with one in his dreams and produced offspring that became a better god than him. It's always better to make sure, right guys? That is terrible. Please stop. <laughs> All right. Now, here's my only fear, because I did not kill Tanaka, but I have killed everyone else. Is that going to fuck me up? Hmm. You know what? I saved recent enough. We got to run it. Your heart beats loud as a drum. Just by being so close to the tower, adrenaline is rushing through you. You cannot explain this feeling. You are at the same time both terrified and tempted to touch the intricate ornaments of the ancient stone slab door. Touch it. You feel energy flowing to the door through your fingertips. You feel euphoric. just to make sure it's kicking in. 
Gotta make sure I got all of it in me. Ooh-wee! I'm feeling good. Yeah, man, have you ever noticed how these walls are really pretty? You just start role-playing an absolute drug addict. I'm doing speedball in an elevator. Just so I can go slap God to death. This is truly one of the times. Ah, you're finally here. Percolate greets you in a monotonous tone. Let me hit this. Take a sip. And let us read things we've never read before. Congratulations of the highest degree. I bow to your talents. You are the last survivor of the 14. You managed to excel where others have failed. It truly is a remarkable feat. A Herculean task, even. You are the champion of Termina, the festival to end all festivals. I did what I was asked to. Now where's my reward? Ah, yes. As promised, you are entitled to the grand prize. You're not sure if Perkley is talking about the prize or price here. A peak to grandeur. A peak to grandeur and a chance to reach for the illustrious heights. What does that even mean? I think explanations are finally in order. The moon god rare is gone. I apologize for such an unpoetic manner of speech, but what you see in the sky is just a barren stone floating slowly in the space. A festival of terminus rare is doing. That much is true, yes. But those powers are but faint traces left of his existence. Rare, much like the other older gods, left this world a long time ago. You might still be able to harness some of their powers, but like the festival, it is just a faint voice from the past that grants you those gifts. Maybe that is the evidence of their true strength. That even in their absence, and in some cases death, the powers still linger in this world. Without the consciousness behind these powers, their traces are nothing more than any other force of nature. That force is not there to help you, to harm you, or to be worshipped by you. It just exists. That leads me to you. Human. The common people desperately putting their faith on these obsolete powers. They are ultimately alone in this world. There is no one looking after you if you were to return to that world. No one looking after you, but plenty of forces ready to exploit you down to the bone. The world where you came from, where you were driven, where they want you, and when they want you, you were just another pawn in the greater scheme of things. Just another fool, led by the so-called new gods, who are nothing more than dirty little sinners, just like yourself. <laughs> the only difference being that they devoured their way to the top of the pyramid before anyone else had a chance. What do you call the starvation and poverty that the world has faced? horrible occurrences in history that were inevitable bumps on the path of progress. What would you call the last two great wars where hundreds of thousands, no, millions perished? They are but a part of the greater scheme, the sinners just pulling their strings from the grand hall they reside in to further establish their position. That is vile, if you ask me. I trust such power to no man. Do you? 
Maybe what they say about absolute power really is absolute truth. Maybe order and peace truly are just a distant utopia. That is why we have chosen chaos. What you have gone through since your destined arrival on that fated day, it would seem that you are no stranger to chaos. One could even argue you revel one could even argue you revel in it whenever possible. My master certainly is pleased of what he has seen. A peak to grandeur and a chance to reach for the illustrious heights. They are gifts only offered to a select few. Those who possess the right traits. If you want to continue on this path of chaos as champion of Termina, you are given the privilege to join us as equals. So, what do you say? Join us, a return to a world where you came from is nothing more than a side note in an untold history. All right, our options. You say the gods are gone, yet you talk about your master. My master? Yes. I know it sounds redundant to trade the worship of one god to another. Trading snake oil for quack remedy. But my master... My master promises freedom. Freedom like you never knew existed. I know you yearn that. I can see it in your eyes. You wouldn't be standing here otherwise. Deep down, you know that you can never feel fulfilled. There's always something gnawing at you at the back of your head. You could have all the riches in the world. A harem of 50 lovers, admiration and respect, yet that hollow echo would still emanate from within. Answer me honestly. Have you felt true joy since you were but a naive child? I do not mean a brief moment of happiness, but real joy. One that shines through even during your darkest hour. You do not need to answer. I know the answer. Humans were born to suffer. They possess the eternal hunger that will never be satisfied. To fool themselves, they came up with rules and routine to help pass the time. An artificial sense of achievement. Self-defined attributes to determine who is good, bad, successful, or a failure. Living in a cage of their own making. If you live in a cage, you are never free. You need to tear that prison down, brick by brick. You must strip yourself of man-made morals and ethics. The rules and routine to pass the time. You must stop passing the time and jump straight to the end. Death awaits at the end. Your only salvation. Witness death. Deal death, and finally, experience death. That is the only way. You do not want to go back as an empty shell. I'll join you. Well, isn't that glorious? You have chosen well. However, one last tribulation lies before you. All the souls you sent to our master now boiling in the presence of his never-ending hatred. To finish your transformation, I need to send you too to his sulfuric cage. You have faced death head on. The only thing missing is to faith, face death yourself. Do not fret. It is like the summer and the winter at the same time. So scorching sun burning your skin while the long tendrils of the cold freeze you from inside out. When you rise back from those dark pits, only then will you be a true representative of the cult of sulfur. The empty man-made morals, the hollow weight stirring deep inside you, all carved out, you will finally know what it means to be truly free. So as equals we face, 
I can't wait to tear you to shreds. Do not die too soon, or the ritual will go to waste. I don't think you understand, homie. Have you seen the color blood takes under the moonlight? Such a beautiful blend of pale red and sickly green, drenched in gold hues of blue. I don't think you're making it out of this one, homie. I'm gonna be real with you. Well, a leg was not optimal. But, that also means... I can do it again. Oh, it's over. Headshot with that? Jesus. I was about to say, if you tell me he has over 2,000 health in his head... You didn't need that, did you, homie? All right. Let's look at our skills, shall we? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Double black orb. Why the leg? What the fuck? There was a miscalculation there. Oh no. Let's run it back. Holy shit, he can reflect fucking spells when he's in that guard. All right. Bet. Alright, well at least this is easy enough. We've already killed Caligura, right? Yeah, now that I know that it works, I'll, I'll just use the book right outside the tower, and we'll run it back. Since we're roughly the same distance from uh, our uh, area. I know. It's heartbreaking to watch Pav die over and over again, right? <laughs> Said no one ever. I don't care his reasons for becoming a Nazi. He's still a fucking Nazi. Sorry. Uh, I, I figure we're gonna give him the boots medium style, okay? Let's 
go get a treat from our lovely priest. Bye-bye. Nah, I think I'm just going to do regular black orb at his head. I have a theory. And that theory is that he doesn't actually want the smoke. He just thinks he wants the smoke. Now we gotta go through this shit again. Yeah, you're right. I think whenever he's guarding, I will red arc him again. I forgot to do heroin, but I think I'll be all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep whining, loser. I don't know about you. Sounds a whole lot like somebody who fucking got their ass whipped for making excuses. Me? You don't listen here. I'd like to toss doppelganger, doppelganger heads at him as dialogue one day. Get him on our team. I don't want him on my team. Could you imagine the party talk? Ugh. I just want the option to come after him again and take him out for good. Feels really kind of. Yeah. All right, let's, uh. I tried to give a ghoul heroin.
Alright, hurry up before my buzz wears off, homie. We're about to get severely fucked up in here. Yeah, I did. I used it just now. We're just gonna burn through that. Where's my reward? Alright. He does talk a lot, but I mean, it's exposition I liked uh, quite a bit. I'll join you. All right, so my plan is simple. Because what's gonna happen is I'm summoning this, that takes my extra turn. But we're gonna kill the left wing first. They're gonna do whatever the hell they wanna do. You thought that crit was great. <laughs> Melee only fucking fight against Berkeley. <laughs> Three rounds. Impressive. Very impressive indeed. Berkeley is dead. Your wounds are starting to weigh on you. The world starts fading before your eyes. Not a single soul returned from this trip. Okay. Longinus is now available in the Hexen. Now, aside from Mazo mode runs, we're done. Do I see myself doing a Mazo run? No. No. Not at all. Um, no. Uh, ending A is the Machine God. Ending B is Day 4. Which is when you kill rare. And then this is... <laughs> Ask to speak to the manager when you fight Percolet. <laughs> I'd like to speak with your manager. Oh, it's Satan. Sick. Um, what's up with the airline food? Can a motherfucker get a Biscoff cookie? God damn. Alright. Anyhow. Uh, let's see if there's anything after this. Or if this is just it. Yeah, we got the photo ending. Uh, it was... We've gotten two endings with Marco, one with Osa. I would like to try to play around with some other characters, but... Man, it's just... It's easy to kill folks with Marco. 
And it was uh So what'd you guys think of that little um what have you? All right. Well, that was the final ending for Fear and Hunger Termina. Now I can wrap all of this up, this fun run, as it were, into one highlight video and be done with it. I'll be stoked about that. So that's the first completed series that I will have turned into a highlight video. Thank you for watching. You're going to have to figure out how to dub over it and whatnot. <laughs> but that's a, that's a problem for me later.